Sometimes, in marriage, someone has to be the one to push to make the big moves. And oftentimes in our marriage, yes, it was your father. <sighs> our marriage wasn't perfect, it's true, but none are. You know, our show's never been one to rely on scandal or crime or um, big action dragons or anything. It's just, it's real life. And I think audiences crave that. People crave that. They want to see, they want to see themselves in a realistic setting uh, and possibly also get that wish fulfillment experience of, oh wow, I can have a family like that. I can, I can have, I can be a father like that. I can be a brother like that. I can be a mother like that. I can be anything like what the Pearsons are doing. Big three? Big three! Big three! Big, Big three. three! So many women and men alike have come up to me and literally I've cried in bathrooms with strangers, in the middle of a grocery store. You name it, we, we've cried, we've talked, we've shared stories that are so relatable. You think that you're in this bubble and you're creating art and it's wonderful and it's changing you, but when it starts changing people's perceptions and opening their hearts and their minds, I'm like, oh, that's why we do this. This is why we're here and why we create art. The journey of the big three and their parents has to do with simple decisions that make tremendous sort of reverberations in one's life. And we're all making these decisions to have children, to not have children, how to raise them. Um, do I stay with this job? Do I not? Am I artistically fulfilled? How do I take control of my body? How do I take control of my life? And they're questions that we all ask ourselves, but when you're in the midst of life, you kind of feel like you're alone. So when you see other people going through making the same decisions that you're making right now, you're reminded like, oh man, this is happening to all of us. Like, this is us, right? He pushed a stranger on me. And that stranger became my child. And that child became my life.